Some time ago, I came across this Vintalk, which covers many amazing things, and despite its ridiculous title, it's actually a very good Vim talk. And I know I'm a nerd, but it covers an interesting feature of Vim called Control X mode. So I went ahead to VS Code to try it. Essentially, you press Control X in insert mode, I pressed it, and it didn't work, it instead cut a line. Because, as you may know, with the new Vim extension for VS Code, while in normal mode, which we are currently, despite it saying insert, uh, all the keys that you press are processed by new Vim, but once you're in insert mode, only some things will work, like for example, control R, <laughs> control R, control R, Bruh. and then I do Q, and here we go, essentially, right? So that will work. Uh, but things like control X are just given to VS Code. So it just caught a line, which makes no sense. Like if you're a Vim user, you will likely just go back to uh, normal mode and then DD or something of that nature. But understand it's for people to be to get into NeoVim in a more easy way. So I thought, oh, oh well, I guess I can't do control X mode in VS Code. But that's actually not true. Remember the video that I made on control hotkeys and how to make them in the NeoVim extension? If you don't know what I'm talking about, I really recommend you watch it because it's actually mind-blowing. Essentially, every key to be processed by NeoVim needs to be sent to NeoVim. And not all keys are sent to NeoVim. Some are just VS Code hotkeys. So let's go to keybindings.json. You can press Control shift p and then I guess just key bindings. No? Uh, shortcuts then. And here we go. Open keyboard shortcuts, uh, shortcuts JSON. And then let's find something along the lines of uh, what would work, I wonder. This would work, actually. If you type in this or just neovim.send, you'll come across exactly what you're looking for. You'll come across some key or control key that is already passed into NeoVim by default. The only thing that you wouldn't see is args. This is the actual magic that we need. Because now, when I press Control y it actually gives the arguments of Control y into NeoVim. And then, when I go to my init.lua or init.vim, doesn't really matter, uh, then at some point, maybe I remap it. I guess I don't. But essentially, I could make a hotkey, something along the lines of this, and have it intake control Y, just like here, and it will all work. So I did the same exact thing for control X. I just added this hotkey in VS Code so that it sends the actual args. Important thing to notice is uh, NeoVim mode. So this essentially when is insert, then control X should produce the args of control X, which is what NeoVim or just Vim needs in insert mode. Now when I press control X in insert mode, it works. All right, it's been a long journey towards this solution, but what is control X mode anyway? So as you can see, there are quite a lot of th stuff here that is definitely useful. Don't get me wrong, but I only use four, I guess, out of those, first of all. So I press control X already. Now, when I press control L, holy shit, what just happened? 
it auto-completed the previous line. This isn't really exciting by itself, although, I don't know, it's already exciting, but let me show off what that actually can mean. Here I am in my default example file, because I think it's written pretty well and has many of the things that's useful to show off. So what if I do this and then control L or rather control X, control L. First of all, it auto completed the previous line that started with this. And we don't have to stop at this. We can just press control P to select a different line instead. And then another different line and another. And then to go back, we do control N to go forward instead, which is quite incredible, I would say. Interesting that it's autocorrected. I remember that being done often, but important thing to remember, just as we sent control X in insert mode, we would have to create another hotkey that sends control N and control P in insert mode as well. So the feature is there already. It's just that it's not made to work by default in the Neovim extension. Still, it's very easy to make it work and make use of it. So we just saw control L. There's another thing that's almost more useful. Probably yes, more useful, but it works less often, I would say. So I type this dot and then control X, control P. And this is exactly the example of it not working, but we do PA, control X, control P, control X, control P, control X, control P, control X, control P. Holy shit. We just started with something and then continued on to autocomplete word by word what we needed. And then we can continue on adding more stuff, whatever it would be. And the same thing works for control X, control N, which would get um, input for the IntelliSense from the forward of the file rather than the backward of the file. Then is really interesting in how it separates go forward and go backward. So for example, I want to search for the dot. When I do F dot, I go to the front or other forward, but then I have to do shift F to go back. And Vim does this quite often, which is just interesting. Now, probably the most insane thing that you can do, well, that's probably second place after control L. Honestly, control L is incredible. But let's go to some file that doesn't matter. Do uh, slash. And just so you know, I do use Linux, in a sense, control X, control F. What? Yes, indeed, you can autocomplete paths. And right now I'm pressing control N, and then I can press control P to go back. I found MNT, all right, then C, pro, and then autocomplete it for me. So, pro, Control X, Control F, and then I can scroll once again. Okay, I want programming. Dot files, Control X, Control F, and now what else? I guess I, Control X, Control F, boom. We just auto completed the full path to a file without needing to remember all of it. And the reason why Control X mode isn't enabled by default in VS Code is because, as you can see, it's kind of weird. It just keeps changing what you specifically type out rather than showing some, yeah, like this, grayed out text, which would be perfect for this, obviously. And that's probably the reason why it's not enabled by default. But let's go to some Vim file and try to do the same thing. Uh, control X, Control F. And now we can actually see what uh, is here. And the changing of text is a bit more snappy as well. 
I'll explain what I mean by that in a bit when we cover the next feature. So this is quite a bit better in terms of usability in the actual new of them than VS Code, but still very useful. If you know how this works, you will find a use for it at least once or twice. Let's go to clean input box again and start a new line here. Okay, so this line will start with a few characters which will be the same as the line above. Of course, you can just start typing uh, and then basically just deal with it. I don't want to do control X, control L because that's the whole line and that's too much. I would have to go back and then delete it. Don't really want to do that. So how do I solve this? Control Y. Control Y pastes a character from the above line on the same column. And uh, you can press Control E to do the same thing, but forward. So the next line. I use this really often, but I'm kind of too lazy to just type things out, even though there is IntelliSense, which speeds things up quite a bit. Still, I feel like this is pretty nice. There is an issue, though. If you try to hold it down, this sort of shit keeps happening. And you will end up still with the correct input. It's just that you'll have a lot of stupid and useless stuff after it. So you just can do. So you end it at this, you do L, capital D, and you're good. But still, you can just hold down Control Y or C Control E. It's better to just keep spamming them. So it's not great, understandably so, but here I am, I just completed what I wanted. Once again, the use for this is use, uh, usually just complete some part of something and then continue on writing your own thing. So really useful as well. But once again, we need to do the same thing as with Control X, where we create, hold on, let me do it in visual mode first. Uh, when you copy some hotkey, you yank it, GDP, and then you change this to, in this case would be Y, and then change the args as well, very important. So you would have to do that. Yeah, for those to work, because by default they don't. And it's kind of a shame. I understand why the devs didn't, because it is kind of whack and unfinished, but still very, very useful. So, if you enjoyed this video, press a like, type some comment, maybe you have a question or suggestion. Definitely subscribe so you don't miss my content, but most importantly, stay fresh, cheese bags, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!